Hey guys, good morning and welcome back again to your Run Academy Need English channel. I believe all of you are doing great, having a good time. So, my dear students, some commonly asked questions from the students which I have been getting from past couple of days, and I believe all of you will be having these sort of questions in your mind at this particular point of time. The ones who are basically going to write the NEET examination in 2025, whether they are going to write it for the first time or they are the droppers, right? Okay, all these questions I believe you would be having in your mind. Number one. What should be the complete one year strategy which you guys are supposed to follow? Number two, what are the books which you are supposed to follow? Number three, how many hours do you need to study? Number four, uh, what is going to be better? Partial drop or complete drop? For all those students who could not do well in the NEET 2024 examination. Next important question, how many tests are we supposed to write? And the last one, what is going to be the NEET 2025 expected cutoff? My dear students, in this particular session, which I'm going to keep very short and precise, I'll be answering all these questions in detail, right? The first question which I'll be answering, that's going to be the NEET 2025 expected cutoff. My dear students, you know, last year in NEET 2023, there were almost 21 lakh students who appeared in the examination. This year, almost 24 lakh students appeared in the examination. So next year, there will be more than 26 lakh students who are going to appear into the examination. And the number of students appearing into the examination, right, that is directly proportional to the cutoff. More the students appearing, more is going to be the cutoff. So whatever is going to be the cutoff for this year, right, more than that is going to be the cutoff for the NEET 2025 examination for sure. So keep this thing in mind that the cutoff for NEET 2025 is definitely going to be more than that of the cutoff of NEET 2024. Point number one. Point number two. Point number two. This question I would want to address first. Are there any books which you are supposed to follow? My dear students, there are a lot of good books available in the market. But if you ask me, right? If you ask my personal suggestion, I would want you guys to avoid studying any sort of books when it comes to the NEET 2025 preparation. My dear students, wherever you're studying, whether online or offline, just get into a dedicated batch now. Just get into the dedicated batch so that you remain disciplined throughout. And in that batch, I'm pretty much sure you'll be getting some study material, right? Just try to solve the same study material which you are getting from either your online batch or offline batch. Uh, many a times, avoid solving a lot of books. One study material, just try to solve that study material again and again so that you could remember the approach of each and every problem, right, which can be asked particularly in physics and chemistry. And you know, for your biology, nothing you have to study apart from your NCRT. In your inorganic chemistry, nothing you, are st you have to study apart from your NCRT, right? Okay, nothing else. So no need to consult any sort of books. Whatever study material you are getting, that has to be but authentic study material from a reputed coaching, be it online or offline, right? And you are mature enough to understand what are the reputed coachings, right? So please and please avoid following any separate books for physics, chemistry particularly, right? Okay, now, how many hours do we need to study? My dear students, you have got one complete year left, right? You have got one complete year left till you enter into the NEET examination again in the year 2025. Now, how many hours do you need to study? I would say just one thing. If you study for six to eight hours a day, but that should not happen only for a week. That should not happen only for a month. If you are willing to dedicate six to eight hours every day throughout this year, I am telling you, my dear students, with 100% assurance, with 100% assurance that you guys can crack it easily. You are not only going to crack it, you are going to be among the toppers for sure if you have the consistency of six to eight hour study throughout this particular year, right? I'm not telling you to study for 12, 14 hours a day. No, do not do that. Six to eight hours, but do that every day. Do that every day, right? Okay, just keep this, keep this thing in your mind all the time. Okay, and it's not difficult, guys. It's not difficult. It's not difficult to study for six to eight hours a day. Now, I'm, I'm pretty much sure when you start studying for six to eight hours a day, in the first few days, it will be comparatively difficult, right? But, 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 after two, three days, you'll get that rhythm, right? 
after two, three days, when you start solving questions, when you start learning things, definitely that zeal will come into you and automatically that six to eight hours will reach to 10 hours soon, right? That's all. Now, what has to be the strategy ahead? How exactly you are going to complete the syllabus? My dear students, as I have been, uh, I have been telling you all the time, no doubt you have got one year left till the examination. That does not mean you are going to complete the whole syllabus in one year. No, you are not supposed to do that. You are not supposed to do that. What exactly you're supposed to do? I would say in maximum six to seven months, you will have to complete your whole syllabus. Is it difficult? No, it's not difficult. It looks difficult, but it's not. As I have been telling you, there are almost 80 chapters in your physics, chemistry, biology, and you have to complete those 80 chapters in just six months, right? It looks huge, but if you break it comparatively, if you break it, what is meant by breaking it? I'm telling you, you have to complete 80 chapters in six months. That means if you talk about a particular week, in one week, you just have to cover three, three and a half chapters. Nothing more than that. Now, it looks easy, right? You can easily complete three and a half chapters in a particular week, right? If you are giving uh, six to eight hours for the study, right, every day, then definitely it's pretty much possible, my dear students. It can be easily done, right? Your three and a half chapters can be completed easily in a particular week. And once you are done achieving the target of week one, then automatically, my dear students, you'll go to week two, week three, week four, etc. Do not look at the broader perspective. Just select the weekly targets. Just try to accomplish those weekly targets. And once you keep on accomplishing these weekly targets, my dear students, trust me, in six months, your whole syllabus will be done and dusted. Right? Your whole syllabus will be done and dusted. Just keep one thing in mind. When you start a chapter, when you start a chapter, first of all, watch the lectures of that chapter. Once you are done watching the lecture, I mean, once you are watching the lecture, when you start watching the lecture, during the lecture, make the running notes. Do not rely on the PDFs. Make the running notes, make the notes on your own. Once you are done with the note making, then, 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 go to your DPPs, whatever DPPs are given to you from your uh, reputed offline or online coachings. Once you are done with your DPPs, then go for NCRT reading right, of that particular chapter whose lecture you have watched, right? And once you're done with NCRT reading, then comes your NCRT in-text and exercise questions. And at the end, go for PYQ solving, right? Once you are done with this process in a particular chapter, then it is the time to write the mock tests, right? So here is one question, how many mock tests you have to write? My dear students, in a week, if you are completing three and a half chapters, right? Once you are done with three and a half chapters, the next day you are going to write the test, containing those three and a half chapters so that you get to know whether the process which you have followed, right, to complete those three and a half chapters, whether that process giving you the efficiency of solving the questions in lesser time or not. And I'm telling you out of my experience, if you follow this process, what I have told you to complete a chapter, you can easily score really good in your mock test, which you are going to write every week. So once in a week, you have to write the mock test, okay? And once you are done with the mock test writing, then try to analyze your mock test scores as well, right? Because it's not only writing the mock test. No, analyzing the mock test score is equally important because by analyzing the mock test scores, you get the idea about your weaknesses, which I keep on telling you all the time. Just try to identify your weaknesses, try to act upon them so that you can convert your weaknesses into your strengths. Okay, please and please do that, right? So every week you have to write the mock test. So whatever three and a half chapters you're completing in a week, right? Sunday of that week or whatever day you are keeping. Just try to write the mock test of those three and a half chapters so that you, you get familiar with the exam culture as well. I've seen a lot of students in my teaching career studying for day and nights, day and nights, my dear students, but they kept on avoiding the mock test. And because of that, they could not qualify this particular examination with a good score, right? But my dear students, if you take care of these small, small things from day one itself, then it's really possible for you guys to cross the 700 mark if you are starting from zero as well, okay? So please and please keep this thing in mind. Now, let's talk about the next question. What is the next question? Whether all those students who could not do well in the NEET 2024 examination, whether they are supposed to take the partial drop or complete drop. My dear students, one simple answer I'm going to give you. If, if your NEET 2024 was your first attempt, then do not think of partial drop. Go for one complete drop. There is nothing wrong to study for one complete year. 
there is nothing wrong in taking one complete drop provided you remain consistent provided you remain under the right side of guidance provided you exactly know what to do what not to do provided you have selected one mentor who keeps on telling you all the time how to improvise your scores etc etc right so if your need 2024 was your first attempt no need to think of partial drop go for one complete year drop but remain consistent throughout i'm telling you if you remain consistent one year is enough to crack any sort of competitive examination guys be it NEET, be it J, or even be it UPSC examination as well right okay but 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 if your NEET 2024 was your like third attempt fourth attempt then you can consider of a partial drop I've seen students taking partial drop and qualifying the NEET examination at the same time right so people have done it people had have, have done it but 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 it needs a bit of more effort it needs more effort because in the daytime you go to the college in the daytime you go to your college then you have to start your need preparation after you come back from the college that means from 5 or 6 you can start your preparation till your 11 or 12 in the night then again you have to go back to the college the next morning perfect right so it is comparatively it is comparatively difficult to manage things when you take the partial drop because you are going to the college at the same time you are studying for the neat examination again right it's completely difficult but it can be done it needs more motivation it needs more consistency right it needs more hard work if you are willing to do that then go for it then go for it right i have seen students i'm telling you i've seen students qualifying the neat examination after taking the partial drop so there's no need to worry about it it is just as i told you more hard work is needed if you are willing to take the partial drop right now my dear students my dear students i hope all these questions are covered over here now 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 your complete unacademy need english team right me yavar sir hsp sir ambika ma'am right your complete unacademy need english team tomorrow 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 that is that is 18th of may we are starting a new batch a fresh batch for all the need 2025 aspirants right on the unacademy platform and you must be knowing the name of that batch that is your phoenix 2.0 neat english batch so all those students thousands of students have already enrolled all those students who could not enroll into it yet please and please get enrolled today only because today is going to be the last day to enroll into this phoenix 2.0 neat english batch wherein you remain under my mentorship throughout this particular year right so weekly weekly i'll keep on having the one-on-one -on -one interactive sessions with you so so that i could tell you after analyzing your test scores every week i could tell you where your weaknesses are how to improvise those weaknesses etc etc right so all those students who could not enroll into the batch yet just get enrolled right now because throughout this particular year you are going to be under my personal guidance right okay and people the ones who do not know what all things are included in, the, in this particular batch let me first of all tell you in this phoenix 2.0 neat english batch your whole syllabus of physics chemistry biology is just getting complete in six months we are going to complete the whole syllabus of physics chemistry biology in just six months guys just six months starting from 18th starting from tomorrow right and every chapter beat from physics chemistry or biology will be getting covered from the basics from the scratch from the zero so does not matter whether you have studied the chapter before or not right we are anyways going to start the chapter from scratch from zero itself all the theory all the problem patterns in the chapter will be discussed with you in detail and the best part is guys the best part once we are done with the syllabus completion in six months then we have allotted two months for the revision separately two months we have allotted for the revision separately right so after six months there will be separate two months wherein we are going to do the complete revision with all of you so that you can complete your syllabus not only once twice right so six plus two is eight once these eight months are over then one month we have kept dedicatedly for the full syllabus mock test we are going to provide you the full syllabus mock test in that one month right we will make you write the full syllabus mock test we will try to analyze your scores we will let you know where to improvise and what how you can convert your weaknesses into strengths right and the best part is as i told you in six months we are completing your whole syllabus that means in three and a half that means your three and a half chapters will be completed in one week which i told you earlier also right three and a half chapters will be completed in one week and sunday of that particular week you'll be writing the test of those three and a half chapters we will be analyzing your scores we will be analyzing your scores right we will be analyzing your scores 
And my dear students, once we analyze your scores, then we'll have one-on-one -on -one interactions with all of you so that you know exactly how to improvise your scores, right? So again, it's going to be one-on-one -on -one mentorship with you and me throughout this particular year, right? And the best part is, the best part, my dear students, as I told you already, avoid studying a lot of books. Do not do that, right? So you need not to worry here. If you are the part of this batch, if you are willing to follow this particular batch dedicatedly throughout this year, you need not to worry about the study material. We are going to provide you the study material. We are going to provide you our hand-picked DPPs. Only and only you have to solve those DPPs. Nothing else you have to solve. No other book you are going to consult. Only the DPPs which we are going to give you. Nothing more than that. Nothing more than that. And this is something which I told you already. One-on-one -on -one mentorship with me. Perfect. And my dear students, the batch is starting tomorrow, right? This is the Telegram group which you need to join in as soon as possible so that you can remain updated about all the things which are going to happen in this particular batch, right? And how do we get enrolled? What is the price of this batch? Let me talk about that. But people, get enrolled today only. I would want every one of you to get enrolled today only because this is, trust me, the one-stop solution for everything, okay? Because as I kept on telling you, as I kept on telling you all the time, if YouTube lectures were enough to get you into the medical college, then you wouldn't have been watching this session right now. Okay? YouTube is not only, uh, YouTube is not the only thing which is required for the computer examination to be cracked. There are a lot of other things, my dear students, right, which needs to be taken care of. Through YouTube, you are not going to remain cons consistent. But when you take a particular batch, you remain disciplined, you remain consistent. There will be always someone behind you who will kept on telling you that you have got a session at this time. You have to attend this mock test. These are the mistakes which you are doing. And this is something which you are supposed to do in order to improvise your scores. All those things only come to you when you enter into some, into some dedicated batch through which you remain disciplined throughout your preparation. So it's my request and an advice, like an elder brother, get enrolled into the batch as soon as possible, guys, as soon as possible, because tomorrow we are starting the batch, right? So how do we get enrolled into the batch? See, guys, for example, for example, the video which you guys are watching in right now, the video which you guys are watching in right now, there's a link in the description box of this video, right? There's a link in the description box of this video like this, right? One year subscription, just click on this particular link. Once you click on this particular link, over here you have got two options. Either you can take the subscription plus subscription for one year or you can take iconic subscription for one year. Now, first of all, what's the difference between the two? In plus subscription, you get study material in the form of PDFs. In iconic subscription, you get more mentorship sessions by me, right? One-on-one -on -one mentorship sessions, more, right? Apart from that, study material you get in the form of booklets, right? Which will reach to your home through couriers from an academy site, right? So people, over here, you have to select 12 months, then click on proceed to pay, use the code WASSIM so that you remain uh, under my guidance throughout the year. Then you just have to put your mobile number on which you get the OTP or you can continue with your email ID as well, right? So better is to put the mobile number on which you get the OTP and everything. And this is the batch price, which I'm pretty much sure is affordable for to everyone because this is for one complete year, guys. It's This is something which you can consider for consider as a lifetime investment for all of you, right? Just my dear students, just follow whatever I tell you to follow. Trust me on that. Just be consistent in the lectures, right? Just follow whatever I tell you to follow, whatever the Unacademy Neat English team tells you to follow in this particular batch. Then it is going to be our responsibility, right? To make sure that you fall into a dream college for sure, right? But provided you have to listen to us throughout, Right? Provided you have to listen to us throughout. Perfect? In the live lectures. And by chance, a lot of students must be thinking, if by chance, uh, if any live, live session is missed, like there is some family emergency due to which you could not attend the live session, you need not to worry at all. There will be recordings of those live sessions provided to you as well. And the best part, again, is if you enroll into this Phoenix 2.0 Neat English Batch through Plus or Iconic subscription, the choice is all yours. Right? Which one to take? My dear students, you'll be having the access to all the batches of an academy absolutely free of cost. Be it the Hindi batch for NEET 2025, English batch for NEET 2025, whatever batches will be running on an academy, right? You'll be having the access to all of them completely free of cost. So get enrolled today itself and let's start the preparation again from tomorrow and let's make sure that this year we do all the things in the effective way so that we all will make sure so that we all will 
fall into our dream college so that our dreams will come true so that our parents dream dreams will come true so that we can say proudly yes we have nailed it we have killed it by preparing for one complete year exactly from zero exactly from basics right so get enrolled as soon as possible with this i'm taking a leave god bless you all and i'll see you all in the live sessions of this particular batch starting from tomorrow take care god bless you all and love you all bye bye